Hi there guys, welcome to question 8. Now, um, the, the first thing I did when I, I did this is I, I redrew it um, you know, straight because I don't like looking at it that much like this. Um, and part A, we've got to show the area of this triangle, so this, this front face here, there we go, um, can be written like this. Okay, so area of a triangle, um, there's no there's no real angles involved apart from that. So you just go to your basic formula. So we know area is base times height halved. Now let, let's make a sketch of just the triangle itself. Okay, so we've got A, we've got D, and we've got E. It doesn't really matter. They've used A, D, E, but they're both the same because it's a prism. Now, we, we don't know anything about this, but we... We know that this is x. They were told that in the question, actually. Yeah, AD is x. There it is. Now, and we're also told that it is isosceles, which means that these two have to be identical. It couldn't be this length, the hypotenuse, and another length, because the hypotenuse is always opposite a 90-degree angle. If you had two of those, you'd have 180 degrees already without that third angle. So it has to be those two. Okay, uh, and they're the same, so I'm going to avoid using these letters because that could get quite confusing. So I'm going to call that an A and that an A. So I can take this formula and what I can say is the area is base times height, which is going to be A times A, so A squared, halved. But that's not what's here. They haven't got any A's. Um, they've got X's, but I couldn't have used an X here because the X is already there. So let's let's think about um, writing an expression for a in terms of x. So, using Pythagoras, we can say that x squared is going to be a squared plus a squared, which is therefore 2a squared. Okay, so let's now get a as the subject. So we could say x squared over 2 is equal to a squared. And now if we square root, um, we're going to get a equal to, so x squared square rooted is just going to leave us with x and the square root of 2. Now normally when you square root you'd have a positive and a negative value because it's a physical length of a triangle we're just going to stick with a positive. Alright so that's our value for A. So let's go back up to here. Oops that was meant to be an arrow. There, there we go. So area is equal to A squared so that's going to be X over root 2 times X over root 2. Uh, and that is all divided by 2. So we've got x times x, so that's x squared. And root 2 times root 2 is just 2. And we're dividing that by 2, which is the same as timesing by a half, which is where we get x squared over 4 from. Okay, so there we have it. And you can put meters squared there. So I've written it in a slightly different form. You could rewrite it, but that's exactly the same thing. Okay, so let's move on to part B. So we're told here that the capacity, now that, that's a, another word for volume. So the volume is 4,000 cubic meters. And the total area, okay, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So we've got two triangular and two rectangular sides of the container. But first, when you read this, you go, well, I can see three rectangular sides. So which are the two that they're talking about? Now, you're safe to assume here that it's not the larger one from the hypotenuse side because it's the two rectangular sides. And those are, it's an isosceles triangle, so we know that they're equal. So we're going to start off by using those two um, and hopefully we get it to be this. Okay, so let's, let's deal with this first bit of information. It's talking about volume, so let's write that. So... So the volume of any prism is the area of the cross-section times its length. In this case, it's the triangle, which we've got an expression uh, for the area here. So it's going to be x squared over 4. Um, and we've got the the length of the prism. Uh, I'm actually, I can call it length, but I don't really like writing L, so I'm going to just call it a height for now. Um, so I could have changed that there to height of the prism. But we're also told the volume. The volume is 4,000. Okay, so what we've got to try and do is um, rearrange all this. So I'm just going to rewrite this. It's going to make it easier to see because multiplication, we can just put those together. Okay, 
So let's get rid of this division by 4, and let's times by 4, so we're going to get 16,000. So immediately, if I glance over to the question, I can see um, here that I've got this 16,000, so I'm feeling good about this. Now, I've already got, um, we already know what x is, x is this. Um, so let, let's try and get an, let's try and rearrange for h. So that's going to be 16,000 over x squared. It's the only thing we can really do at this moment in time. Okay, let, let's have a look at the next bit of information. So we've got the total area, so that's surface area of these two triangles and two rectangles. So let's write surface area over here. Okay, so we're going to have two of these triangles. And we know one of the triangles is this, x squared over 4. So two of them is going to be 2x squared over 4, which is just half. Okay, 2 quarters is a half. Now, we've got these two rectangles. So how long are these rectangles? Well, we know what this length is here. And we, we've got an expression now for the height. So, so let's let's mark those on our, our drawing. So we said originally that this is this is a there, which is the same as this blue line here. So if we're looking at this rectangle here, that's a, but we've got an expression for a. So that's that's going to be x over root two. Now this is the height of the prism, and we've got an expression for that there. So let's put that on as well. So sixteen thousand over x squared. So with the area of rectangle, you times these two together. So let's do that. So we've got 16,000 over x squared being multiplied by x over root 2. Okay, I can see straight away that I can um, cancel here. So it's going to be a 1 there. So that leaves me with 16,000 over uh, root 2x. But I've actually... Um, I've got a, a third here on the bottom, so I'm going to I'm going to want to get rid of that. You can see here there's no thirds as a denominator, so let's do that. So we times by root two to both. We're going to have sixteen thousand root twos, and root two times root two is two, so we're going to end up with two x. Okay, and that's that's looking pretty good because I've got a two and an x here. Um, and now we can actually half those. So let's go to eight thousand. So that's 8,000 root 2s over x. But remember, that's just the one rectangle. So we've actually got another one of those. So we've got two of these rectangles. So that's going to be 16,000 again, root 2. Oops, there we go. Oh, that's meant to be an equal, sorry guys, um, of an x. So that two of those is that. Okay, so um, let's 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 rewrite this whole thing because we've got uh, this first one, the two triangles, plus this new one, the two rectangles, and let's see if we have to do anything more. No, that's it. We're done. So S is equal to so that was the total surface area. So S was technically equal to those two triangles plus those two. We could have written an S all the way down here, but I've just tidied it up as we've gone. So I'm conscious that's quite a long video, so let's do C and D in the next one.